Hey there all craft beer lovers. Thanks for joining me for this review. And we are taking a trip, guys. We're heading to Norway for this one. Returning once again back to uh, Salicat Bryggeri or Salicat Brewery. Tonight we're taking a look at their Snug as a Bug in a Rug. It's described as a New England Double India Pale Ale, weighing in at a lovely 8%. 440 ml can, as you can see there. And there's a look at the artwork. I'm going to spin it around. There you go. Snug as a bug in a rug. Well, that's kind of a cool title. Uh, this is a smooth, full-bodied double Napa with a high hop intensity from Big Secrets, Sabro, and HBC 586 hops. Proved to be enjoyed under a warm blanket in the cold season. So yeah, there we go. That sounds very, very lovely indeed. Let's pop the top, see what we get. There we go. Touch of smoke. So yeah, this brewery, Salicat. Uh, this is my, I believe, my second beer from these guys. There we go. Seem to do some really good beers. Oh, it smells lovely. Okie dokie. Yeah, that looks really, really good. Right, so what do we have? We got ourselves a finger's worth of a lovely white, bright, shining head. A couple of big bubbles on top. Uh, hazy, kind of a, a little bit darker honey golden color. Lovely presentation. Yeah, very nice aroma. Yeah, tropical notes coming through, orange, peach. A little bit of sweetness as well. Yeah, it smells proper. It smells like a proper New England IPA. Double IPA. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Yeah, pretty good. Juicy, kind of a full-bodied beer right off the bat. Tropical fruits, a little bit of a bitter bite coming through. A little bit of a slightly earthy aftertaste. Lingering hoppiness as well, coming through as well there at the very back end. Lingering and lingering. Uh, almost like a, like a vinous hint coming through as well. There's certainly uh, there 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 are certainly a lot of flavors to this one. A lot of things going on. Mm. It's nice. It's drinkable. It's got a really nice, rich, full body. Uh, as I said, uh, a lot of things going on in this beard. It got a vinous touch to it, a little bit of white wine. Got uh, an earthy component at the back end. Tropical fruits initially. Lingering white wine tone. Lots and lots of hops coming through. I mean, yeah, this is a beer that kind of, you know, gives a lot of things to you. So this is a beer that you can sip on and enjoy and really kind of go for those flavors, kind of try to identify the flavors because there are a lot of flavors to it. Final sip. Mm. So, I mean, yeah, it's a nice beer, really nice. Uh, can't fault it. Got a lot of things going on. But at the very same time, and then just for me, for me personally, it kind of goes in all directions. But it's a very good beer still. Uh, so I'm a little bit on the fence. Uh, uh, and on the other hand, there are a lot of beers like this one. So it, it becomes a little bit like one among many. But it is still very well made. So I'm going to, if just for me, my personal taste here, I'm going to settle for a 3.75 out of 5.
for this one. Thank you for watching.